Hey guys, what is going on? I am Dale of Dale's Leatherworks. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have the profound honor and privilege to be reviewing a pair of Julian Bowery boots in color eight shell Cordovan. These boots belong to my buddy Mario, AKA Boot Reaper on Instagram. So this is the infamous Horween color eight shell Cordovan. However, Julian, to separate themselves just a little bit, they call this color Bordeaux. And I think Bordeaux is a very good name for it as I always thought that color eight looked very similar to a nice Cabernet, a nice Bordeaux, a very deep eggplant burgundy red wine color. So I think they nailed it with the name on the color there. Let me start out by saying that I actually have been following Julian boots ever since I got into boots. Uh, I started buying Alden and right around that time, around 2014, I became aware of Julian boots and they were always a brand on my radar. However, you know, for one reason or another, it just never came to a point to where I got my hands on any or even saw any, but I do remember they were one of the few vendors selling three or four different colors of Shell Cordovan. This is back when Alden was I think just starting to clamp down on their Shell Cordovan releases and only allowing the Color 8 and the Black Shell Cordovan to be available to the general public. But Julian at the time was doing a dark brown shell and then I think like a lighter brandy colored shell as well and it was always available. I think they were about $1,500 though. I think that price point is what prevented me from jumping on at the time. That and just not being sure of my size. And uh, before <laughs> I proceed, onward with the video i do want to give a shout out to the stitch down boot camp event that i just came back from last week what a great time it was like boot heaven getting to meet so many different makers so many different tanners and just so many different people enthusiasts it was overwhelming to say the least the first day i was there i got in the, i got in line i was a little late getting there i was in line waiting for to get in on the viberg sale and from the time I got there till about midnight that night, I didn't sit down, I didn't eat, I didn't drink. <laughs> well, that's not true. I did have a couple beers at the event, but um, it was just go, go, go. Like, it was just surreal. It was a lot of fun, really good to make a lot of good contacts there. I, I gave my card out to a lot of people. I got a lot of cards in return. One of the makers there, Galoon, and I'll cover this in another video, but I met the guys at Galoon Tannery that Ben at Stitch Down just did a podcast with and that was really cool i hope to maybe get in on ordering some of their horse hide because it is very nice they do a few shades that i'm in particular a very big fan of and i'm hoping to maybe put in some orders and get some of that horse hide and make some backpacks out of it another huge shout out to my buddy chris of the w who actually surprised me with these two dales leather works drinking canisters so his wife actually makes these on a small scale just for you know as a hobby and uh he actually he got me this one and this one this one was actually from a screenshot of my actual logo on some real leather huge thanks to chris i've been beaming ever since i got these such a wonderful and thoughtful gift it's got my logo on there yeah. what a great community seriously what a great group of guys Grant Stone was there, Wyatt was there, Lulu, his wife was there, Ali was there. I got to hang out with my buddy Ian, uh, Nick from Stridewise was there. It was overwhelming having everybody in one spot, you know, in one <laughs> space, but Ben did it right. I definitely plan to go back next year. Uh, there will be a boot camp 2.0, so I would encourage anybody to go. This is a good way to get really get the community together. It's a really great event. I think Ben is doing a great thing. He, he's doing a great thing creating this this wonderful boot cult. Anyways, on to the video. So actually, I didn't know a whole lot about Julian boots because when you go to their website, it's kind of vague. Like, who's Julian? What's the story here? So this is according to Barney's New York who uploaded a video on Julian boots. Uh, so to fully understand this itinerant boot maker, one needs to take a look back at his family tree. His grandfather was a painter and sculptor who taught at Edinburgh. His father was a photographer whose past subjects include David Bowie, the Beatles, and Mick Jagger. And his mother, the daughter of an Italian count and poet, is a songwriter. In other words, Julian was never destined for cubicle life. 
So, but if you go to the Julian Instagram, you'll see that there's a woman named Francesca who you can email with to coordinate orders and such with. And so this is where I'm super thankful because Francesca actually took some time yesterday to talk to me. So I was able to get a little bit more of the Julian Boots story. So Julian Boots is named after the owner and the creator, Julian Imario. So it all started when Julian was a baby. He was one year old and very independent. He had a strong personality. Him and his mother went to Milan and she bought him clothes and she bought him some Italian boots there. And he loved them so much he put them on his bookshelf. Um, at the age of five, he did a Ralph Lauren shoot wearing pointed Italian boots. Uh, he posed in them. They were made by Bruce Weber. Julian actually ended up working for Bruce Weber as an assistant. And so Bruce Weber is an American fashion photographer and occasional filmmaker. He's done ad campaigns for Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, Pirelli, Abercrombie & Fitch, Revlon, Versace. So he's a very highly connected personality in the high fashion industry, in other words. So Julian worked with him, and Julian also did some modeling. He also is a painter on the side as well. He's been in multiple magazines, selling in New York. He spent a considerable amount of time working with the Mennonites. And I think when Francesca mentioned that to me, that he liked working with the Mennonites, there's actually on the Julian Boots webpage, so it says Julian Boots established 2005, there's a video on the web page that says that Julian essentially undertook a code of silence for seven years, not speaking even at lunch. He's worked with the Mennonites. At some point, he moved to L.A. and started designing boots. Before he moved to L.A., he actually he lived in, in Northampton, England. That's where he learned how to create lasts. He learned to carve lasts in Northampton, England. Apparently, this is the method by which you start getting into the bespoke boot making. You know, like most boot makers, they, they have their standard last, they offer them in sizes. But Julian actually learned how to take a customer, create a last based on their foot, and then build the boot from there. So Julian Boots established in 2005. Quality leathers, unique styling, and custom design work is what sets Julian Boots apart. His reputation was founded on the skill of his craftsmanship and his belief in excellence, attention to every detail, in custom boot making. All boots are hand assembled and Julian boots will make the boots to measure ass assuring the best fit, unsurpassed durability, all day comfort, unique styling and custom design work for the most discerning customers. Each pair takes many weeks and many skilled craftsmen are involved and Julian boots has custom designed boots for high end selected stores and boutiques in North America, Europe and Japan. And one thing that I think is really interesting is Julian has a close relationship with Ralph Lauren but his boots are handmade, not machine made. And so that's why he doesn't sell his boots through Ralph Lauren. Instead, he sells them himself. But you can sort of see the Ralph Lauren spirit and influence in his designs. In addition to that, he also created the Road Champ for Mr. Freedom. And so as the story goes, he got tired of being in LA. So he took off on his bicycle, I believe motorcycle, and he traveled all throughout South America. He went to Colombia, Nicaragua, Venezuela, he worked on a chocolate farm in Venezuela, and uh, apparently people came with guns and tried to take money. So when they robbed the chocolate farm owner, he uh, moved on to Brazil. He had an accident there, but he was okay. He wrecked his bike. He ended up living in Hawaii. He doesn't like to stay in one place for too long. He's very much a jet set type of a personality. Apparently he grew up going boating all the time when he was young, living in France. So he continues to make new lasts and to stay busy, but he is a very independent type of a personality. So in the beginning, all the boots he made himself. Um, he learned in Switzerland when he was studying leather there, and he lived in England studying with the Queen's boot maker, and then he started making his own. So anyways, super cool story. He sounds very much like a, an entrepreneur and a guy that just loves to travel and loves to experience life and uh, you know I could relate to that so much I, I love traveling myself and, and going to new places and and just getting into what makes this existence so much fun and fascinating and he seems like a real salt of the earth kind of guy but really an intrepid spirit wants to go just wants to keep going and you know very much like a pioneer in a lot of ways and you know in many ways I'd love to hop on a bike myself and just just go just go as far as 
as the road will lead me. I've always wanted to go exploring South America and things like that. So one of these days we will, but you know, I got, I got a bit of a crew that I tow along with me wherever I go. So, okay. So currently Julian Boots offers the Bowery in Horween Chrome XL. They have it in black, black cherry, dark brown, dark cherry, and olive. They appear to be made to order. I'm not exactly sure. You can also do the custom route. You could have boots made custom. So before I get on to the other models, I want to talk about the specs on this boot. And again, I'm very excited to be reviewing this brand because I have just been watching them for so long. So they came with this amazing, what feels like a wool boot bag, came with two of those. Very much a refined build, very similar to the, to the Alden Color 8 cap toe boot. So we've got a perforated cap toe. The last is, is quite interesting. So we've got sort of a, a, a slightly sprung toe here beautiful shape on that last. In addition to that, we've got just an amazing airborne grip right outsole, which are very rare. You don't see those very often. Also has an airborne heel cap here. Hard wearing, nailed down, absolutely amazing. I love the details on that sole. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that sole in person before. So we've got a very super duper thick midsole. That's probably about a 12 ounce midsole and then an, a thinner insole, and then one, two, three, four veg tan uh, stacks in the heel stack, very elegant eyelets, very firm eyelets that won't press down, very good hardware, three speed hooks, four standard eyes. We've got a pull tab back here, very nice, very well done stitching. Interesting little, little, just tiny little divot, something that I wouldn't have noticed if I wasn't looking really close, but a tiny little divot at the top of the heel counter on both boots. At first I thought it was maybe a mistake, but no. I'm not sure what causes that divot, but that seems to be intentional. It's a 270 degree Goodyear welt. It's got a veg tan Julian insole. Really beautifully done roll top at the throat there. Toe is lightly structured. Good structure on the back heel counter. All around, just a beautiful design. Really well done, Julian. Very well done work, yeah. And he, looking at the pictures, it is clear this man is an artisan. He kind of reminds me of Clark Gable in some ways, you know, sophisticated, refined, Renaissance type of a man. And that's kind of what I started Dale's Leatherworks based off of is like this old artisan, old world type, you know, wanting to reestablish a connection with my roots, with my heritage. And that seems to be what Julian has done a very good job of doing. Julian Boots also does, they do an engineer, very good design on those, looks similar to John Lofgren. They do the Cornish Miner, they do the Cairo Boot, that is really cool, that Cairo Boot. They do the Jeweler, they do the Jeweler and Kangaroo, they've done the Engineer in Shell Cordovan. They do the Knife Maker in Horween Midnight Blue, the Knife Maker has a really cool pocket for a knife. I thought about offering that service by the way, installing a, uh, a pocket for, for knives. They also do a monkey boot. They do the Madison boot, which is similar in some ways to the Bowery. They do Oxfords and Cordovan. You can do the engineer in Horween Shell Cordovan and natural cognac, color eight. Production takes four to six weeks and those retail at $2,000. Worth it, I would say, especially if you're getting a custom fit yeah, the Cairo boot is made in Horween Calico Bone Suede and Tumbled. Wow. Okay, so the Madison they offer in Whiskey Shell, Dark Cherry, Cognac, Color 8, Natural, Black, Midnight Blue. And those are $1,600. And so, yeah, they do currently offer the, the Madison and Horween Shell. And really cool and really refined about the, this last is that uh, it's sort of angled like a beret there when you look at it from the front and that Madison looks very similar. Okay, it looks like maybe the last is a little different on the Madison, but I'm not sure. I could tell that Julian knows his shit when it comes to designing boots. He's not just slapping this stuff together. He's got an eye for the art, that's for sure. I would do a size comparison, but these are in a size 10. They're definitely too big for me. Uh, by the looks of it, they might run true to size. So I'm typically a nine. So if I were to shrink this down by a full size, make it a nine, that'd probably be my size. I typically wear eight and a half in most boot brands, but I would think maybe a nine would work, but I'm not sure because I don't have them in front of me. So anyways, 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. What are your thoughts on Julian Boots? I am blown away by the level of craftsmanship and refinement here. Really special brand, really special people. Super huge thanks to Francesca for taking some time out of her busy day to talk to me about the brand and fill me in on Julian, the man himself behind the brand. Maybe one day I could get a boot talk going with Julian, but until then, thanks a lot for watching. Leave me your thoughts on these Julian Bowery boots in Bordeaux Shell Cordovan in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I will see y'all in my next video.